Let's layer some rotations onto the movement here to make the camera pan as it dollies forward. And that'll give us enough keyframe data to illustrate the power of editing keyframes directly in the timeline. First, I'll go into the key filters and switch over from position to rotation. Then enable set key mode, select that camera and go down to frame 90 and just keyframe it with a zero rotation. There's no rotation currently, just click the set keys button. Now I've got a rotation key there. Notice that it's green. Position keys are red and rotation keys are green. Then I'll go down to the end of my animation on frame 150, grab the rotate tool, and I wanna rotate in gimbal mode as always. And then just turn that camera, pan it around to take in more of that scene. And then create another keyframe for the rotations. Once again, click on set keys. Cool, let's take a look at what we've got. Turn off set key mode, rewind, activate the camera viewport and play it. Let's see what we have. Okay, that's pretty good. We could make it smoother using the curve editor, but that's enough for us to illustrate how to edit keyframes in the timeline. I'll select that camera once again, and we can see that there are a bunch of keys here. We've actually got four keyframes. We've got two position keys and two rotation keys. And down here on frame 150, they're both on the same frame. And that's why we see both a red and a green box there. As we saw earlier, we can select keyframes and move them around. I can just click on this one and push and pull it around to change the timing of my animation. If I move this rotation key to an earlier point in time, that means that the rotation is going to start sooner. Let's see what that looks like. Now we're seeing an update only in this top view because it's active. I actually prefer to see update in all views. So let's change that. Go into time configuration and disable active viewport only. And that way it won't matter what viewport we have active. We'll see the animation update in all the views. All right, so that rotation's starting a lot sooner now. Okay, let's maximize that. And then turn off the grid. We can see this a little bit more beautifully. Okay, so that's fine. Let's say I wanted it to be faster. And to do that, I could actually manually move all the keyframes one at a time, but that would be a slow process. I can actually change the timing globally directly in the timeline here, but I'll need to select the camera to do that. Notice that I can't see the camera in this full screen view because I'm actually behind the camera, but we can select the camera from the menus here. Go up to the camera name and then choose select camera. And now we've got those keyframes displayed. I'm going to move that rotation key a little bit later. And now I wanna edit all of that animation. And to do that, we can edit the keyframe ranges. Right click on the timeline and you'll get a context sensitive menu. And then go to configure and choose show selection range. And now if I drag a selection here, let's say I just click and drag and select all those keys, we see below the timeline, this black bar, and that's the time range of the selection. If I only selected these two keys, then the time range bar would only extend as far as that selection. I'm gonna select all the keys. And now I can edit the timing by just dragging the ends of these bars. Just click and drag that. If I wanted this to be only a three second animation, I'd bring this back to 90 frames. And now it's gonna move more quickly. To make it more dramatic, I'll actually bring it down to 60 frames, only two seconds, and that'll be a, a very fast movement. Okay, that's obviously too fast, but we can tighten that up a little bit. We can kind of clean that up, make it 90 frames instead of 60. Now that's three seconds of animation. It's really too fast even still. I think what I had originally was pretty good. Maybe 120 frames, that's four seconds. Okay, so that is how we can use edit ranges to change the timing of animation here directly in the timeline.